panic and terror at the Manchester Arena, an attack carried out by one man, but who helped him? Police say Salman Abedi wasn't part of an organised network, but believe others were involved or knew something. And they've revealed that in the hours before the attack, Abedi wandered the streets of Manchester with the bomb in his backpack. They're focusing on mobile phone calls he made that evening and are seeking permission to speak to his brother Hashem, who's being held in Libya. 22 people were killed. Their families are being given personal updates by senior officers. Martin Hett was 29 years old. His funeral was held last week. His family is following the investigation, but their focus is that wider lessons are learned about what drove a baby to kill. And I'm happy that they're dealing with it the best they can. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm more than happy with the process. But the only way to solve this and stop it happening is to tackle it on a far bigger area, not just retaliate on those few individuals, because it'll happen again. Revealing the scope of the investigation, police said today that they've taken 755 statements, collected 16,000 hours of CCTV footage and seized 3 million digital files. Police describe the explosive device used in the attack here as homemade from items bought in Britain and say it was so powerful that it gouged out a hole in the concrete floor where a baby was standing. As well as the deaths, more than 250 people were injured. And we were told today that those injuries include paralysis and loss of limbs. The arena sits quietly, still closed. None of the arrests that were made led to charges, but police say more are anticipated and that they've gathered significant evidence. But a security expert who's followed the story explained the key is proving links from Salman Abedi to others, which may have just been conversations. Abedi may have actually talked to people and said he's increasingly radicalised or has an intention to conduct an attack. But that, of course, is completely lost to investigators at the moment. And until you can find that information, it may be impossible to charge people at this current point. And confirmation today that Abedi left no note or video message behind. The one person police will never be able to question took his twisted thoughts with him. Peter Lane, 5 News.